There is no evidence that the coronavirus plaguing the world was engineered. Most scientists agree that it came from nature, but that's not the same thing as saying it didn't come from the lab. It simply means that this lab may have had an accident and that accident caused the spread of the pandemic. The Wuhan Institute of Virology was the world's premier lab researching bat coronaviruses and their possible transmission to humans. For many years, the head of that lab, Dr. Shi Zhongli, had published papers establishing that uh, bat coronaviruses had the potential to be transmitted to humans. And she was using several bat coronaviruses uh, in experiments with other animals. Nearby at the Wuhan Center for Disease Control and Prevention Lab, uh, they were also studying bat coronaviruses. Over the last two months, these previously forgotten diplomatic cables were widely circulated inside the Trump administration as officials debated whether or not the novel coronavirus that's plaguing the world could have originated from one of these two labs in Wuhan that were studying bat coronaviruses for many years. Chinese authorities have traced a new deadly virus back to this seafood market in the city of Wuhan. The cables seemed newly relevant in light of the fact that there was a lack of information coming out of these labs and that the Chinese government's original story that the virus emanated from the Wuhan seafood market seemed to be falling apart. Right now, we do not know the origin of the novel coronavirus. One big reason we don't know is because the Chinese government has instituted a severe clampdown on any information related to its origin. The seafood market in Wuhan has been sterilized. The lab has been silent. All public research is now restricted by the Chinese government. So while we can't say that the, the virus originated from the lab, we can't rule it out either. Do you have any evidence the virus began in a Chinese lab either, and maybe was released accidentally? On the, on the lab piece, that, that's, there's a lot of uh, uh, rumor and speculation in a wide variety of uh, uh, media, the blog sites, etc. Uh, it should be no surprise to you that we've taken a keen interest in that. Uh, and we've had uh, a lot of intelligence uh, take a hard look at that. And I would just say at this point, it's inconclusive, uh, although the weight of evidence seems to indicate uh, natural. Uh, but we don't know for certain. The U.S.-China bilateral relationship has been deteriorating ever since the Trump administration came into office. This has prevented robust cooperation from happening and provided for an environment where the Chinese government doesn't trust the U.S. government to share information and vice versa. Why do you keep calling this the Chinese virus? There are reports of dozens of incidents of bias against Chinese Americans in this country. Your own aide, Secretary Azar, says he does not use this term. He says ethnicity does not cause the virus. Why do you keep using this? A lot of people comes say from it's China. racist. It's not racist at all, no, not at all. It comes from China. Both sides have decided to stand down on accusations in order to facilitate cooperation and because the Chinese government is still holding lots of medical equipment uh, that it could prevent the United States from receiving if it chose to do so. Uh, nevertheless, there are people inside the administration that want this information to come out and that's probably why I received these cables. The outbreak story is not just about blame. Determining the exact way the virus originated is crucial to determining how we respond. It's also critical scientific information that will help us prevent the next pandemic, which is sure to come.